Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hi, dear Virgo. Welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts and learn all about spiritual guidance. Take a beautiful deep breath in, raising your vibration. Come on, Virgo. Deep, deep, deep. Challenging your human. Kissing your higher self. Breathe in and release. All right, all right. So Virgo, this is a month of transformation for you. And come into October understanding that you deserve that support. Move mid-month mid knowing what your value and self-worth is, that you are enough. And leave with this ability to change your philosophy and a willingness to go into your future as who you are becoming. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. I feel like you really are transforming into your future self. And honey, it is magnificent. You are your name 2.0 right now. And you've been doing so much. I feel like your hard work is starting to pay off. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. Oh, 
there. No, I don't feel that. Oh, okay, so I'm here and just pause and go with this for now. So, you know, in October, you're going to see at the beginning of the month this need to just release and let go. Let go of the way you thought you had to make money, the blocks that you have around money that deal with your father, whether you knew him or not, whether you're in his life or he's in yours or not, whether you were a daddy's girl, a, a daddy's boy, whether you were trying to please someone that really didn't deserve your all your energy like that, whether he taught you what you needed to know, whether he didn't. That bond was always meant to be of the highest energy. Study yourself first. Study your habits. What is it that you're afraid of in transforming? Are you fearing your own success? Are you fearing having to pay for student loans? Are you looking at all your options? This is a time to reflect and go back and just look at these things, your connection with your father, your father figure in your life. If you are the father, what is your relationship like with your children? If you have a spouse or um, a father figure in your life over your children, your, your partner, maybe your co-parenting, um, this definitely is a time to go back and look at that relationship and study it and learn your habits, your old ways of doing things. What was that behavior that Spirit is telling you, release and let go? Let go and let God. Step away from that old self. Detach from who you thought you had to be. And really run towards who it is you are becoming. Because these pages are empty. Some of them are written. But as you can see, the ones that are written are in this form of the La Mariposa, which is transformation. Okay, so you are writing your own story. Your life by your design, divinely timed and divinely ordained. Be proud of who you are. Forgive your dad, forgive the father figure in your life, whether it be your partner or not, whether it be yourself. Forgiveness means not that you are letting them off the hook, it does mean that you are saying, I am no longer holding on to that energy that has created toxic energy around me. I am no longer going to hold on to that toxic energy. I am no longer in charge of trying to do anything with that energy. Let it go back from whence it came. Give back what doesn't belong to you and cast that first ripple. Don't forget to give back without any type of desire for an outcome, but just give it back. Just give it back. And also be of service. We know that your energy here is by mid-month there's a new beginning in your value, your effort, your self-worth. Are you enough? Yes, you are. So when that question comes up and your ruling planet is kind of acting wonky and, and weird and you're feeling kind of confused and sad, honey, be proud of everything you've been able to do and focus on that for a minute. So that as you study your past behavior and you wrote it down in your journal and you said, these are the things that I release. Go back from whence you came. That is not my energy. I don't own it. I forgive myself and I forgive others. In your money, then you're able to go forward 
with fresh energy in your career life, okay? Because you can't fear your own success. And Spirit is showing that very clear to you right here. Um, your secret is to give, 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 give. Be generous with your gifts, okay? Honey, the winds of time have been activated. Your ancestors are right there helping you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, oh, you are their legacy. The veil has been lifted. Let your inner child come out to play. Dance, celebrate, have a good old time. Have fun doing what you do because you are a sage. You are a shaman. You are an energy healer. You are a teacher of spirituality. And your ancestors are right here helping you create that generational wealth and that legacy income, but also the happiness of doing what you love. You get to be happy with the path that you have chosen and you get to succeed at it. So when you feel funky and foggy, let Mercury do its thing. You know, Mercury retrograde hits you so hard because it's your ruling planet. But allow for that veil to be lifted by taking the steps forward, being a servant-driven leader, having fun, not taking life too seriously, forgiving yourself for not being where you feel you should be, forgiving yourself for taking so many years to try to figure it out. The winds are moving all of that doubt out of the way, self-doubt out of the way. Your ancestors are here to help you and they're working for you. They're working with you on the other side and they are part of your DNA. So remember that you are a part of each other. And when you ask for help, it is given. You have this ancient healing wisdom. Use it to help others give back. Woo! Like only you can. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a lot more than I thought what you were going to get. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful, so thankful. So thankful that Spirit comes on in. And just shows you your spiritual guidance. And all I have to do is channel it. I'm just used as a vessel. And I feel like that's what spirit is telling you. Allow spirit to work and to move through you. Okay? My dear earth angel. In your career. It has to deal with health and wellness. It has to be something substantial. It has to make you feel good. It has to make you... You know, feel like you're doing a difference. You're making a difference in this world, in the universe. Okay? But you are an earth angel and you are protecting us. And you've got these tinctures and modalities. And you are an energy healer. And don't you forget it. That you are meant to help people using your gifts. And that's going to work for you. Okay? The justice, the laws of the universe are on your side because you came here for a reason and now you know that the career path that you're going in is to help your family grow legacy okay and your ancestors are helping you fulfill your life purpose so when you feel that that foggy energy coming in remember what you've done remember your training Fall back on it, use it, synergize with it. And all you're doing is putting two and two together. That's all you're going back and using what you've already learned. And some of you are going back to school. Some of you are learning through training, online programs, through 
um, different business programs to make sure that the opportunity that you are uh, going to accept and invest your time and energy into is filled with training that you can use immediately as a proven system. If it doesn't have a proven system, if you don't have a proven concept that you can look at, if they don't have testimonials, if they don't have any backing that you can not you can research, it's not for you. Remember, you are protected to go into this new path. You are protected to get on out there and do the work and not give up. Just keep going and stay consistent, okay? Heavenly angels, thank you so much for helping me get this straight for our dear Virgos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So change your career path, but know that it is all about family. You're going to have fun doing it. There's ancestral wisdom here, meaning it's spirituality, it's health and wellness, it's whole body health, it's healing energy, it is uh, manifesting that for your clients, your customers, it is essential oils with environmental, it's natural, it's plant-based with environmental energy here. And once you decide to take that step and own it, the winds of time just change. They just come on in and break those generational curses and cycles that have ill behavior attached to them and survival stuck mold. And you just go on in and just start moving. And it's working for you and it's time to celebrate. So congratulations in advance. That energy is awesome. And remember, yes, justice is on your side. So it's going to work for you. Just stay in that energy of giving, okay, giving back and making sure that you are forgiving yourself, you are forgiving others, and you're moving in non-judgment. Let people do it their way. You do it your own way. But always know that you're following a system. Don't think you got to do it on your own because you certainly don't, Virgo. Okay? This energy for you this month, if I might just go back in, is when you're opening up the month, it is in other people's resources for you. And so... This energy says, be open to receiving the blessings that Spirit has for you. The universe is lining up uh, people that are assigned to you, assigned to bless you. And the ancestors are just, boom, right there helping you. I mean, it's, it's almost like it, it just opens up this arc of abundant help and support. And all you have to do is just be open to receiving it. Mid-month, this energy says, okay, now that I've received all this blessed, assigned alignment, now I feel empowered enough to take these new steps forward with dignity self-love, self-respect, self-worth, self-value. I am enough. This is how much money I need to make. This is how much money I need to earn. This is the advancement I'm about to get. This is the promotion I am going to receive. This is what I have manifested before I have physically manifested it. And this is a beautiful energy of abundance. The sky isn't even a limit here for you, Virgo. This is jackpot because when you come in, you're receiving. Mid-month, you're taking all that and you're doing something with it. You're actually applying it to multiply it. At the end of the month, with this blue moon, full moon energy, honey, your philosophy has changed and you have the blessed opportunity to connect with people that are unlike you and network 
like never before and learn from these experts that you are aligned with because they are assigned to you. And then understand how are you going to synergize your schooling? How are you going to use your education for you? Let it work for you, but honey, I'm just seeing it very simply. For example, if you're posting, you are really taking bits of information and knowledge from your college books that cost 200 bucks, and you're just posting a simple post, blessing others with the knowledge and wisdom that you had to pay how much money for, and now you're letting it work for you in your, your home-based business, okay, of helping other people. Accept who you are, and that is going to be key. You are no longer who you used to be. This is your, your muladhara. This is your, your root chakra. Be grounded in accepting who you are. This is your vitality. This is even sexual energy, so channel it appropriately. Get to know yourself. Get to know your need to be uh, in solitude. Get to know what your body craves, what you really need. Get to know what the imbalances are so that you can balance it out within yourself, right? This is the passion that you have to help other people. This is being energized and where you need to feel more energized and how to really accept that you're doing too much sometimes for other people and how to say no. How to really look back and self-love and be forceful with it. To come on back in and accept yourself. This is also your root shock. This is your platform. So this is your foundation. And where there are cracks, how to tighten that up and how to actually start over in a lot of areas of your life. But this is absolutely the support. And this is a new way to bring your dreams to fruition. Okay? So with acceptance... This is Cherry Heart. When I accept myself, I find love. Love for doing what you do for a living. And don't forget to look out for the love focus. The legend here is Cherry loves her work as a waitress. But feels that something is missing from her life. She has a boyfriend, yet she senses that he is unfaithful. One day, a customer orders cherry pie. Cherry cuts a slice and sighs to a friend that her life is like that pie with the slice missing. Her friend remarks that maybe cherry is a heart-shaped pie. Cherry's perspective changes. She leaves her boyfriend and later meets a man who makes her very happy. Your inspiration, dear Virgo, is a magical box of self-acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Are things simple now? Cherry Heart invites you to see yourself as complete, just as you are. Your personal inquiry is, am I assessing myself accurately? Or am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself the way I am? Key ideas to meditate on. New ways of seeing yourself. Embracing imperfection. Feeling incomplete and selling yourself short. Key words are manifesting, knowledge, and blessings. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, dear Virgo, this is a blessed month of transformation. Receive the help and the support that you need and then get on out there mid-month and make some things happen in your career life. Thank you so much. By the end of the month, your philosophy is changed. Oh, and boom. The emperor is there. The leadership is there. You are a servant-driven leader. Be careful that you're not judging yourself so harshly. 
Thank you so much. Oh, goodness. Because those daggers that you felt in your back, just being so hard on yourself, all of that has started to heal. So let it heal. Allow your healing to take place. And, whew, this is a lot of intense energy you're going to be feeling. Goodness gracious. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Please show, dear Virgo. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, now we're going to ask for four more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your clarity. A lot of this, dear Virgo, is... Fearing the work. But honey, don't take any shortcuts. You're going to have a lot of options in front of you. But I tell you, what Spirit is showing you right here is even though you've got a bunch of options, doing it right is going to bring you the success that you are seeking. Just keep your integrity Walk away from any low energy that's going to encourage you to, to do something with your money that you're going to regret. Like don't, like avoid, I don't feel bad, a pyramid scheme. Avoid investing a whole lot of money in something that you don't know anything about and that you don't trust the messenger that it's coming in. There's a lot of worrying energy here about your income. And, and honey, you've got to give back without any thought of what you're going to get back. You've got to walk away from the past. It's time for you to release and let go, let God. You've got 13 here with the spirit of the cat. You have got to claim your independence. You are able to do this, okay? Dear Virgo, you are able to take care of yourself. You are able to take care of your children. You are able to take care of your family. You are able to do this. You can do this. You are the leader. You have to stop judging yourself and criticizing yourself. And you've got to love on yourself, okay? You know, you've gone through so much, but the daggers are falling out. And you, you, the spirit wants you to allow this energy to come in and bless you. Spirit wants you to feel the love. Spirit wants you to stop playing it small, honey. You don't deserve an allowance from social services or from anybody else, from child support, from a job. You deserve to be the one who's giving it out. So you have got to know that the judgment is already there. But honey, you're so psychic and so spiritually gifted. You can prophesy, you can manifest a negative prophecy. So focus on what you want to happen and not being out of your integrity or being dishonest. Keep your integrity. Don't let anybody persuade you to play it small and to sabotage your own blessings don't fear having to study having to really do the work and look back at your old behavior your mindset your habits start journaling and writing down all of your expenses and get with the financial advisor get with your partner don't hide any money from them anymore but ask them to be in on it so that you can start saving money together because this right here also, be proud of your accomplishments, but keep going. Use your schooling, use your studying, become immersed in the knowledge that you already know and own it. Because even though right now things look a little off, honey, the energy is there for you to really soar high and not feel like you're a failure. You're not a failure, Virgo. You're absolutely not a failure. 
and your hope is I want to do what I want to do. I want to do it because I love it, but I want to make money doing it. You are going to make money doing it. You have got to get out of your own way. All of these energies, <clears throat> excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> Virgo, all of the energies that are in reverse are reversible by you getting out of your own way and claiming the victory. You are starting fresh. You have gone through some major trauma. Major trauma. You've got many options, okay? Choose wisely the next step in your career life, in your finances, okay? However, be committed to longevity. Be committed. Be loyal. Be consistent. Keep your integrity. And whatever you don't love, get that out of the way. Okay? But be aware that there's going to be some aspects that you're going to do that are monotonous. And you can fall in love with that energy because you put your music on. You get your environment right. You can go to town on it. People got to pull you away from doing it. Right? That's the busy work. But don't get caught. Don't get blindsided by it. And you're doing all busy work and not productive work. You need to be productive. Bring somebody in on it that you trust, your accountability partner. Because, honey, this is pay dirt that you're sitting on. The way that you're going to get there is by claiming your independence. And I'm going to open up um, Colette Baron reads energy right here in claiming your independence. This beautiful new deck. New deck for me anyway. But 13, the spiritual meaning is, honey, release, let go, because it's time for you to detach from your old self and welcome the new you. All right? She's calling you to claim your independence and allow for some space between you and others in your life. The only way you can grow in all your relationships now is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. And when you walk with that dignity, knowing who you are, self-aware and willing to grow, trusting the value you bring, the world will mirror all this back to you in kind. When you say no to codependency, Virgo, and enmeshment, Live and let live and practice taking risks as you wander into new territory for you. Cat Spirit rejoices. So she's here to urge you to let your independent spirit roam free. Go for it because you will certainly land on your feet. That's the part. That's it right there. Are you hesitant to, hesitant to take the risk, dear Virgo? Too cautious to jump into something new because you fear you can't trust yourself? Honey, you're going to land on your feet. Remember, cat spirit loves to mix things up. But honey, they are super independent. Get ready to pounce. Get ready to have fun. Get ready to move with grace. And remember, your instincts are very keen with this energy. Your intuition is sharp. Okay? Okay. Remember, even a temporary setback or a failure can lead to a spectacular result and phenomenal abundant success. So embrace the adventure, dear Virgo. You are sure-footed and can trust yourself now. Beautiful. I feel like a big exhale, right? Whew. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Who is this? That came right up on top. Let's see. Here is your attitude of gratitude. Dear Virgo, I want you to write that in your journal. Meditate on it this month. Let me get that straight for you. Thank you, Heavenly Angels, for helping me get that clear for dear Virgo. All right. 
I have the attitude of gratitude for the many teachers in my life giving guidance, hello, and direction towards my heart's desires. Thank you so much. I receive it. <laughs> so thank you. If there's anything that I can do for you, please click the links down below. Remember that we do have scholarship coaching and uh, we do have um, pricing changes with our readings. So if there's anything I can do for you, then click the links down below. And Virgo, I look so forward to hearing from you and working with you very soon. Mwah. Remember, you are absolutely going to land on your feet. Take the risk and make your dreams come true.